Welcome to the show, everyone. <clears throat> I am really excited about having my guest on with me today. I have some that have been on. Everybody's been on with me before today. And what I love about my show for everyone out there is that it's great information for people out there. Now, I'm going to go in right away as I lose my voice already. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as I lose my voice, but I have with my first guest who's been on with me now a couple of times, I have with me Anna von Straussenberg, and she's the owner of L. Anna von Straussenberg, CPA. Welcome back to the show. you got to tell everybody a little bit about yourself. You have a story, and I love your story. Listen up, because you know what? If you can do it, and I can do what I do, anyone can do it, right? Well, thank you. I was working in the teaching field, and my husband at the time said, you know, you're so unhappy. Change careers. He goes, you are good with numbers. Go into the accounting field. Do whatever it takes. And so I got a job as a receptionist at an accounting firm, and I went back to college, and I studied accounting. I became a CPA about 10 years later. And well, it's an interesting story because you were working for this particular firm as that, that, a receptionist, and as you were growing with that company, uh, they gave you started giving you a little bit of work. Yeah. You became the owner of the company. Well, no, That's I, huge. I, that first, or you bought that, it. That first company, I was a receptionist, and I moved to Arizona. Oh, okay. And then I started working here in Arizona about 20 years ago, shortly after I became a CPA. And that boss wanted to pass on his uh, company to somebody, and he started mentoring me. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I just love that story. It gives me goosebumps because yeah. that doesn't always happen very often, and it's a cool story. But you really started at the bottom. You love what you do. You got into doing what you love what you do. And today you said you wanted to talk uh, and kind of talk to people a little bit about businesses and, and what's going on in the world right now. Okay, let me tell you, uh, we all know that the uh, the big tax season is like right here around the corner. Let's talk about what you do first for businesses. Well, what we do is when we have a business plan, we try to look at their books three times a year. Of course, we look at them when we do the tax returns, which is coming up soon. And But we try to be proactive. We look at it, try to look at it around the end of June for the mid-year to get an idea where they are and how their business is going and how clean their books are and try to give them some tips on cleaning up their books. And then we look at it uh, in November all the way through October and we get a really good idea. And by the time we're done, we ask the clients for their November numbers and what they project for December. So they almost know what they're going to pay at the end of the year. So we, we try to be <clears throat> proactive and do some tax planning with them. Um, and here's the other thing that you are a quick book advisor. You're pro at that. You are a pro at that. And we're going to offer everybody for everyone to call in and get entered in to win. It's a, uh, well, it's a quick book advisor. Like it's a, uh, it's a one hour consultation on the, how does that, how do they, how does it work? Well, if somebody comes in or we could even do a, a zoom call, and they come in and we look at their books and, and suggest ways that they could improve on it. Um, I can give them tips on, on things to do it better. Yeah, um, because here's the thing about QuickBooks. It's one thing to have it. It's another thing to use it. It's another thing to use it right. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. That's there's, really there's what quirks, is... There's quirks in QuickBooks. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Well, there's things like if you have accounts receivable and you have inventory, sometimes... Uh, you'll see uh, accounts receivable showing up on the cash basis, which is generally not normal. So that has to be adjusted for and right. accounted for properly. See, that's where you so. need a pro. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the lines of the audience for everyone to get entered in to win that. It comes along with a free consultation. She does that with everyone. We are all, this is a whole new year. We've had a lousy last year. We want a new year, a new year, a new business. Get your books done right. Because what did you say to me before you came on the show? I said, well, a lot of business owners don't look at their books. And they don't. We don't want what, to. <laughs> yeah, they don't see what their profit is. They just go by what the cash is in the bank. But that's not the whole picture. They need to look at the liabilities. 
you know, what am I going to need to pay next month? What am I going to need to pay over the year? Maybe I should be paying down these liabilities because they're hurting me. Well, that's where she comes in. Um, the number to call her direct, she does free consultations. It's 480-964-4030. Her website is L-A-V-S-C. Wait, you got a new one. You've got a new website. Oh, what is your uh, website? Arizona CPAs with an S. Okay, and she's rated with the Better Business Bureau. It's Arizona, all spelled out, CPAs with an S. Yes. Dot com. And I gave you that idea. I can't believe I remember, <laughs> didn't remember that. So, okay, I want to tell that everybody's entered into win here, that QuickBooks advisory. She's that one that she's been doing it for 17 years. Our number here is 602-277-5369. <clears throat> and toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about extensions because you kind of mentioned it's important right now for people to know some stuff well if people don't have their stuff ready yet uh, for businesses the tax returns are due March 15th and that's coming up quicker than you know <laughs> yeah and so if they don't have everything ready in time to get it to a CPA or do their taxes they can always put it on extensions but there's one caveat with businesses Generally, the businesses don't owe taxes themselves if they're an S corporation or a partnership. But those flow through to the individuals. So they need to be aware as individuals to get their taxes at least estimated before April 15th so they can pay anything that might be due. So, okay, so let's say you're an S corporation and you, have, you still have your individual taxes that you have to personal taxes that have to be done. You can go in and you can kind of let them know where they stand with it. And that's the important thing is to get on top of that before you just file for an extension is what you're saying. Because yeah. an extension is an extension of time to file, not an extension to pay. And a lot of people don't realize that. They say, well, I don't have the money. I want to put my tax return on extension. Well, not having the money is not a good reason because you're going to pay penalties. So, so when they do that, when you have that consultation with them, what does it look like when you sit down, when you're talking to a new business? Well, when I talk to about a new business, I look at maybe what they've already done in their books and, and tell them what they may have done incorrectly. If it's really brand new, then I can help them set it up. Uh, there's wizards in QuickBooks that will help, but you can add or subtract accounts to make it customized for that business. Well, I'll tell you something, it's right around the corner and we need to know what we're doing. More so than anything, we do need to look at our books. I know we all don't want to, but having someone else look at them for you is the best thing. And being able to help you, especially with this QuickBooks thing, where you can actually show them what they're really doing wrong, because most of the time, I bet you find people do things wrong all the time. Oh, yes, yes. All I, of the time. I can just look at somebody's books and I'll see... A lot of negatives in the profit and loss and the balance sheet. And when you see negatives, it's usually a problem. <laughs> well, it's a big problem if it's a negative at the bottom line when you're not oh, making yeah, any money, yeah, too. Yeah. But when you see that, it's usually something which she's saying. It might be just something that can be fixed easily because you didn't know what you were doing in the first place. So we've got our lines open here for everyone to get entered into win. This is a quick book. It's a session that you get. It's a training session that you get with her. And it comes along with a free consultation. Uh, the number to call her direct is 480 964 you can check her out on her website. It is Arizona CPAs with an S dot com. She works nationwide and she's also rated with the Better Business Bureau. Our number here, 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. I'm going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show to get entered into in this. QuickBooks, a lot of people have it. A lot of people don't even know how to use it. Maybe they haven't even set it up. She can help you with it. Our number here is 602-277-5369. We're going to go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk further. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to keep on talking here because we're live on... Can I have you move that away? Yeah. You know, we're still live on Facebook, so That's I just right. want to keep on kind of talking here a little bit. Yeah. What is the biggest mistake that you see that people make when it comes to their books? Um... One of the biggest mistakes I see is that they don't always reconcile their bank accounts and, and know what's in them. Uh, sometimes they also 
uh, businesses will use the business bank accounts like their personal bank accounts. And it's important to not do that. You don't want to have your personal expenses run through the business because then that, uh, you know, kind of severs the, the corporate veil, as they call it. Mm -hmm. And so if you take time to set up an LLC or corporation, and then you're just treating it as your own set of, you know, books, that's not correct. You should take a draw, take a salary, whatever, you know, if you're a partnership, you take a draw. If you're S corporation, you should pay yourself a salary. Mm -hmm. And I think people would say, well, how much do I pay myself, right? How do they know? Well, you, you obviously don't want to take out too much because you want to, you know, only take out as much as your profit. And I tell people, well, you know, err on the side of taking out a little less because you may need that money in the business. Right. And and after I do the books, sometimes, you know, when you do the tax returns, you take depreciation, so that reduces the profit, and you don't want to go negative right. on your equity. So I tell people, leave a little money in the business for as a cushion. And... Um, I think that's probably the biggest yeah. thing that people do when they, especially when they're, uh, you know, a sole proprietor, right? Yeah. They, oh, yeah. They yeah. don't know how to do it any other way. Now, when people are making a lot of money, the rule is for an S corporation is to pay yourself a reasonable salary based on what you do. So a lot of times when the people are making a lot of money, they're not paying themselves enough. Right. And when they're making too little money, they pay themselves too much. So they have. Was well, that what you can? Do you come in and kind of help people with I, that? I kind of help people with that. Yes. Okay. Because if, so. if somebody wouldn't know what to do, yeah. and they would, it's a, it's a guesstimate, really. But with you, it's not because yeah. you can see where they're at and where they kind of need to and be. And that's where it comes in looking at the books three times a year, because we can fine tune things a little bit. Okay. So and look at their. You know, income. Say, hey, you've got a lot of income this year. Take more salary. Now, what else did you? I just want to make sure that I got to everything. I'm going to get to. Um, we talked a little bit um, about the individual. Um, yeah, we went right back. Okay, here we go. Welcome back, everyone. We are talking with Anna von Strassenberg, and she's the owner of L. Anna von Strassenberg CPA. Uh, her website is ArizonaCPAs.com. She's been doing this for 17... How many years have you been doing all of this? Well, I've been in accounting for 30 years. For 30 years. Yeah. I was going to say, it's the QuickBooks that you've been doing for 17 years. Yeah, and I've been a pro advisor for 17 years, and I've actually been using QuickBooks uh, pretty much since it came out. Wow. Yeah, I've been using it since the late 90s. So it, a lot of people have it. A lot of people don't even haven't even taken it out of the box, haven't even, you know, haven't really used it. More so than anything, uh, what you wanted to stress is that the business owners out there just don't they don't look at their books. They just really don't. That's where you come in. One of the first things that you always do is work with them three times a year at least, on the very least, to be going through their books and looking at where they are. It's a wonderful thing that you do that because a lot of people are uh, sole proprietors, such as myself, and we don't know what the heck we're doing. You know, we only care about, you know, that there's money in the bank, right? That there, that we paid the bills and that there's some money left over, right? We were talking at the break and we were talking to, to Facebook about um, how you, well, I said, what's the number one question that you, well, the one one that people that do things wrong and what, and you said that was what? Um, I think it's not reconciling their bank accounts and their credit card accounts on the, on the books and making sure that they're all, um, you know, correct. Right. And then the other thing is about the the checking accounts. Well, also, you don't want to use the checking account as your personal checking account. You want to take a draw as a partner or a salary as a S corp owner. And I asked you, how could someone know how much to pay themselves? And you said, well, that's kind of where we come in. Yeah. You want to take, you know, you don't want to take out every dime of your profit. You want to leave some in there. Because there, there could be errors that you didn't see. And, and things like depreciation that wouldn't be put on the books till the end of the year. So you want to leave a little bit of money in there. And then when you're making good money, you want to take out a reasonable salary based on what you do. 
You don't want to get in trouble with the IRS. That's the big thing is not to get in trouble with the IRS. Uh, she works nationwide. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau. Her website is Arizona CPAs with an S. So that's Arizona CPAs.com. Her phone number direct, it's 480-964-4030. She does free consultations. She is a QuickBook Pro Advisor and she helps everybody. And she is offering for everyone to get this free consultation with her and a, uh, well, there's a QuickBook sort of a uh, tutorial for you starting off with your, there's a lot of business that are brand new right now. This is the beginning of a year. Uh, maybe you've been around for a long time and you just haven't looked at it. I know that for me, when I first started this, one of the best things I ever did was making sure I had somebody take care of that and brought me up to snuff, you know, to where I could kind of start fresh in a sense, because I had no idea <laughs> what I was doing. So you can call in here, get entered in to win. This is a, a QuickBook tutorial, our number here, 602-277-5369, and toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. You work with you said uh, basically nationwide. Uh, what kind of businesses do you work with? Well, we have um, architectural firms, uh, construction companies. Um, I work with some manufacturing companies, light manufacturing. Um, and does and it really matter though? It's a size. It doesn't matter. Small to si medium size, or what do you like? Uh, medium sized businesses mm -hmm. is what we do. Mm -hmm. um, and you did mention I am uh, nationwide. I'm also certified in three different states. I'm certified in California, Arizona, and New York. So of all those three places, you can actually, uh, when you say you're certified there, what's the difference? I'm certified working? as a CPA in those states, and uh, they're getting a little bit better, but it used to be that New York required that if you wanted to get a power of attorney to talk to the state of New York, you had to be certified or the power of attorney had to be notarized, which was a hassle for our clients. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got certified in New York. Also, some people do don't they have a business here, but they don't live here, right? That's true. So does that happen to you with some you know some of the people that are called you know from New York and things like that? Um, that they, they don't maybe have businesses here. Well, they have businesses in several states, mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of people that have businesses or work in California that live maybe close to the border, like Lake Havasu. So, okay, we want to talk about real quickly again, the most important thing for people to realize about these extensions is there is something you need to do prior to that. Let's go ahead and talk about that again. Well, when a, uh, the, the business returns for S corporations and partnerships are due March 15th, and you can put them on extension and get an extension all the way until April 15th. But the big caveat is that the payment for those tax returns go to the individual. And the individual needs to get an idea of what their tax liability is. So even if you want to go on extension, get your information to me or another CPA so that we can calculate your approximate tax liability based on what's in the books now. And then we can tidy it up later. Right. And uh, that's where when you're working with her through the entire year, that's where you come in, where you are actually doing, looking at their books three times a year so that they know way in advance. They don't even have to do this where they're scrambling to make sure that they have all their paperwork and all of that. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. They don't want to be scrambling. They want to have an idea, even if their business is complicated enough that we say, well, it's a better idea to go on extension. We'll work on it during the summer, but let's get everything all figured out now so we know where we're going. You know, sometimes people have more than one business and there's transactions that happen between their businesses, so it makes it more complicated. Do you just do business or you do both personal and? I, I do both personal and business. Okay. Uh, most of my business owners, I also do their individual returns. Right. And then I have a few individuals that all I do is their individual return. And what I know about you is that you're all about integrity I want and the excellence in your work. Let's talk a little bit about that because it's huge for you. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I always believe in, um, you know, having two sets of eyes on every tax return. There's one person that prepares it, somebody else reviews it. And we actually usually get three sets because the person that puts our, our administrative staff who puts it together is very sharp and she she'll sometimes catch something little and um, that's wonderful because we get three sets of eyes on every tax return and 
And if there mistakes do happen, and if there's mistakes, I will cover penalties. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's my if it's my mistake, I'll cover. I mean, if the client makes the mistake and doesn't tell me something, well, that's yeah. on them. But right. I try to, you know, be be honorable. Right. And do the right thing. But excellence and integrity has always been your big big thing that we talked a little bit about before. So tax planning is it too late right now to be tax planning, or is it okay to start now? Let's say it's there's a some... little late to do tax planning, but what I suggest is that uh, people talk to their CPA and uh, set up an appointment for after April fifteenth and start doing your tax planning now because yeah. there are a lot of things you can do. Uh, with some of the new tax laws, the um, are there a lot of new tax laws for this there, year? Have there been the changes for that? They there should know about. There haven't been many changes for this year, but there were changes that happened in the last couple of years that have flowed through, and now the uh, standard deduction is higher, and there are some deductions that were eliminated. So people need to plan if they want to get the advantage of their do donations and things like that. They should plan to maybe schedule those donations, group them in one year, make, uh -huh. make big donations one year and small ones another so that they can really get the deduction for that. So with COVID, has that affected, you know, the people and their taxes? Have you found that at all? Um, yeah, there are some things where uh, there's uh, credits that you can get because some people didn't get their, their stimulus checks. So that's a big thing that's going to affect it. Uh, businesses were hurt, so uh, there are some uh, changes that you can take, you can uh, deduct, you can deduct your losses in a prior year, you can carry it back. So, you know, there's good reasons to talk to her. She's been doing this for over 30 years. She uh, has works nationwide. She's also uh, certified in California, Arizona, and New York. She's rated with the Better Business Bureau. She's a QuickBook Pro Advisor. That She's been doing that for 17 years or longer. And she's offering for everyone that calls in. And we're going to let you call throughout the rest of the show to get a tutorial on the QuickBooks. And she's going to work with you for an hour hour to kind of show you where you might be making your mistakes to update you and give you some advice. Uh, our number here is 602-277-5369 and then toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. I'm going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show. What are your final words today? Well, tax season's upon us. Get your documents together and get it get it in to be prepared. And be prepared. And guess what? After you get your all, because a lot of people get extensions, get all of your personal stuff together. Make that appointment with her after the 15th so that she'll get you the extension. But then she's going to show you where you stand so you know exactly how much you're going to need to uh, pay, which is really important for you so that you're not on Spilkas when they find out. So again, you could call her direct. Her phone number direct is 480-964-4030. Check her out. It's ArizonaCPAs.com. She does free consultations. And our number here, 602-277-5369. Get entered in to win.